Early cell applications, um, if you're in the south and it's warm, you can use B9 cells for this. If you're in the, uh, you know, mid-level um, up, unless it's really, really hot, I prefer just cycocell. Um, you don't want to really stunt anything right now. All you're doing at this point is you're evening out the architecture of the plant. Spray, uh, PGR sprays, particularly both cycocell and B9, enter through the foliage and they affect the shoots that are more dominant um, more than the ones that aren't. So by doing this light sprays over top of the stage, the, the shoots that are becoming more powerful, they have more leaf surface, so they're getting more PGR effect. That allows the smaller shoots to catch up. So you never want to do any kind of drench this early. And even I'm not a fan of using bonsai as a spray this early because it will go into the stems and it will affect proximity. Whereas the B9 sex cell, if you light, light spray over the top, it's just going to drift down and affect the leaves it touches. And again, what we're doing here is not controlling the height. We're controlling the architecture of the plant. And just to mention, you know, when you talk about light, uh, a light spray, volume becomes a, a situation here. So we're talking about spraying to glisten, right? We're not talking about right. dripping stuff down. So drips in this situation, a light spray would be bad. Absolutely correct. That's a very good point, James. What you want to do, and, and, and technique-wise, one of the, the methods you do is you crank your pressure. You, if you have a variable orifice, you, you make that orifice fine. And then the other thing you can do that just kind of helps is have your applicator orient the, the tip of the, that sprayer up so that the, 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 the spray doesn't go directly on the plant it falls onto the plant because we're not, this is not an insecticide spray or fungicide where we're trying to penetrate the plant and get control inside. We are simply trying to lay a little coat on the top leaves. Okay. Good point, James. Thank you. So again, I showed this picture in the first webinar. This was a little fun experiment we did a while ago. I did everything on the plant on the left. I did everything I could think of to do wrong. I pinched it really late and I bonsai drenched it right away. The plant on the right was pinched on time and used um, uh, some cycocell applications to make it nice and even. But this is what, you, what you're trying to achieve. You, the market expects the bracts on top of the plant and now is the time. This very early PGRs and pinches is where we have the most influence on that presentation of bracts on top. If you don't do that right, you end up with the panel on the left. Whereas if you were going into a, a, a brack count spec scenario, only those three on top would be counted. So that's why it's so important right now in these early stages in a pinch crop to get this pinching and early PGRs just right.